Hello, in this video, I'll talk about the differences between class 1 MHC and class 2 MHC molecules. First of all, when we are talking about the differences between them, we should start at a structural level. What are the differences between them? So, at a structural level, class 1 MHC has one big alpha chain which contains of subdomain of alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3. Now, alpha 3 is the domain which interacts with the T cell co-receptor CD8. Whereas in case of class 2 MHC, it has two separate chain. One chain has alpha 1 and alpha 2 domain. Another chain is beta 1 and beta 2 domain. Here in class 1 MHC, it has a beta 2 microglobulin domain, which is entirely encoded by a very different gene from different chromosome. Now, if we look at the extra crystallographic structure we will get a lot of idea about how they can present the peptide to the res re respective cells and also how big or what type of peptides or antigens could be presented by each class of MHC molecule. The big difference lies in the peptide binding groove of MHC class 1 and class 2. MHC class 2 molecules has a bigger peptide binding groove compared to MHC class 1. MHC class 1, MHC class 1's peptide binding group is such that the end is kind of narrowed and closed. As a result, only small or shorter peptide ranging from a 8 to 10 amino acid length can get accommodated in that group. And certain anchoring residues at the C and the N terminus can allow them to stick into the group properly. If the peptide is little long like 9 to 10 amino acid, then it can carve and bulge out from the major the groove of the MHC class 1. Whereas in MHC class 2 molecules, it can accommodate 13 to 18 amino acid long peptide antigens because the two side of the groove is kind of empty. So the peptide, the extra bit of the peptide can hang from that. So class 2 MHC molecules have, are having bigger capacity for uh, antigens. Now we talk about how these class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules present their antigen to. Class 1 MHC molecule is present in almost all the nucleated cell. They mostly present the self antigens and alarm the immune system not to harm them. But in case of pathogenic attacks such as a virus attack, they would also display a viral antigen along with the cell's own self antigens to the CD8 positive cytotoxic T cells. Whereas the MHC class 2 molecule displays antigens which are pathogen derived and they display it to cytotoxic, not cytotoxic T cell, they display it to a CD8 positive helper T cell and leads to activation of the T helper cells which would further allow activation of the B cells and producing antibody against that specific antigen. So there lies the difference by which uh, MHC class 1 and class 2 molecules differentially present their peptide to different kind of T cells. Now, as a structural level, at a functional level, we saw the differences between MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 molecules. Now let us look at at a genetic level, at a genomic level, what are the differences? So it turns out that class 2 MHCs and class 1 MHCs are actually uh, coming from different HLA clusters. So they are also, the, the gene regions are also different. And last but not the least, the way MHC class 1 and class 2 are processed and displayed on the surface, it's also very different. For example, though the slide is a little bit busy, but stay with me. In class 2 MHC processing, the MHC processing starts in the ER and the MHC molecule is totally assembled. And at that point of time, no antigen is loaded onto it. Instead, a chain known as HLA-DM is loaded onto it. After a point of time, when they are fusing with the endosome, in the endosome, the incoming 
pathogenic antigens are loaded onto the groove of class 2 MHC and then displayed onto the surface of the cell. Whereas in case of class 1 MHC, the peptides that need to be displayed on the surface of the cell is loaded onto the class 1 MHC's antigen binding groove in the ER by the help of calnexin and calreticulin chaperones. After that, the MHC class 1 molecule loaded with the uh, peptide to be displayed is delivered via ER Golgi transport and then it is displayed to the surface of the cell. This is how class there is a difference between how class 1 and class 2 MHC are processed and displayed on the respective cell surface. So here is a quick summary of the differences between the MHC class 1 and class 2 molecules. The major uh, differences in, includes in the structural level at the peptide binding groove MHC class 1 has lower carrying capacity it can carry only 8 to 10 amino acid whereas MHC class 2 can carry 13 to 18 amino acids also the peptide binding groove of both the MHCs are differently made peptide binding groove for MHC class 1 is made by alpha 1 and alpha 2 subunit whereas it's different for MHC class 2 it's made up of alpha 1 and beta 1 subunit we also looked at that how MHC class 1 bound peptides are differentially uh, represented to CD8 positive cells whereas class 2 bound peptides are displayed to classical antigen presenting uh, uh, classical uh, T helper cells. Now also there are other differences which includes mostly MHC class 1 molecule uh, displays endogenous antigen whereas MHC class 2 molecules always bind to pathogen derived or exogenous antigens. So that was pretty much about this video. I hope this video was informative. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And do mention how do you like my explaining explanations in the comment section. Thank you.